Hello? Hi, Helene. Yes. It's Roy. I left a note on your car. Oh, hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> Not too bad. That how was you... really nice of you. Oh, it's and no problem. It's just... Where did... I... Did you hit me in the front? Did you back into my car? Oh, no. I... It was more like a, a spray. Like, uh, I, I was hired to uh, spray a car that was there at that place, and uh, I guess I just got the wrong one. You know, I, I don't know my cars very well, so I, I sprayed down the wrong car with this chemical. Oh. It's like a... What, what? Huh? What kind of chemical? Um, well, it's based on hydrochloric acid, but it's it's fine. It's just, uh, it, it modifies the DNA of your paint. Oh. And I don't remember what color your car was. Was it blue? A navy blue? Oh, navy blue. That's right. Yeah, it's going to turn it into a kind of like a bright green, like the kind you see on those ricer cars. Like, like oh, you're, come on. No, I'm serious. It's going to be like a it's like day glow green, like fluorescent green. It, it's a treat. It's a treatment we do to certain to to cars. It's a, a service we provide, and we just show up there and spray it right in the parking lot. And we thought it was. We thought it was his, but it was yours instead. So sorry about that. On, on the upside, when though, is it going to turn color? Uh, it should take a few days. It's uh, genetically modified paint, so it takes a while for the DNA to kind of get in there and latch on and start changing the colors around. But it, it should—you'll notice it change gradually. Like it'll start out as navy oh blue. Oh my gosh! So what? Ha- what do I do to not have a, a green car? Um, well, you could. You could hire us to uh, genetically modify the paint to make it navy blue. Oh my gosh! Oh, but no, I'm no. not happy about this. Oh no! Don't oh, don't shoot. don't be sad. And no, this is going to be awesome because it's like a day glow green. This is like a really popular color these days. Like, do, do you have by chance a spoiler on your car? No, I don't. Oh, I don't shit. want day glow green. Oh. I'm an accountant. I'm very conservative. I I need navy. But maybe, maybe you'll get this green and you'll just start feeling... Are you, are you kidding me? No, I wouldn't kid. I, I was this just is saying... like really serious? Of course, yeah. It's genetically modified paint. It's the latest thing on... If, if you look it up on the internet, it's a new thing. Did they you just cover my whole car with it? Started doing... Yeah, well, you know, we... we yeah, just the painted part. Not the, not the chrome yeah. or the wheels or tires or anything. That'd be silly. But, um, well, I'm going to need to have navy blue. We could do if like. I want my GM paint color. I could, had sparkles in it from the GM paint. Oh, the sparkles will stay there. Actually, the everything's going to stay just the way it is. Like if there's any dirt on there, that'll stay there too. It's going to become a part of the paint job. It's just going to all the sparkles are going to be the more. Dirt of it. will stay on the car too. Yeah, because the the DNA it kind of fuses it all together and makes it a part of the car. Hopefully, you had a clean car that day. No, I didn't. Ah, oh, well, next time you'll. Oh, I gotta have Clean. this taken care of. Clean your car, you know. But no, it's cool. Oh we could gosh. we could do like navy blue racing stripes or. I don't want racing stripes. <laughs> well, if you have day glow g- green. I have a conservative Cadillac. Well, maybe this will help you let your hair down once in a while. I don't want to let my hair down. Well, Are why you not? serious? I, I'm just saying, if you have the green car, I may as well just make a few changes and. Live a little... No, not with my car. I'll do it with my hair, but not my car. You'll, you'll make your my hair... My car is expensive. You'll make your hair day glow you know. green, even though you're conservative? Yeah, whatever. I, I mean, that you can change. Yeah, well, you can change your car, too. It's just a paint job. Actually, this is better than a paint job. It's better for the environment. It's genetically modified paint. So but your note says you dinged my car. Oh, ding? It sounds to me like you hit it. Oh, no, that's an industry term. A ding means to uh, it's it's a modification. It's like a it's an acronym. I forget what it stands for. I, I think genetic genetics in there somewhere though. Probably on okay, the G part. Well, I need to have something. Let me talk to my husband and I'll call you back. Oh, can is he there? Um. Yes, he is. Oh, I could talk to him. I'll, I'll set things right. I'll convince him that he needs a okay. day glow green card. I mean, I, this is so weird. Yep, it's it's an unfortunate this is very mistake. Strange. It's an unfortunate mistake. Why for would you Why would you put this on a dirty car? Well, it wasn't that dirty. It's just a little. But I mean, the, the dirt's not going to look like dirt. It's going to be green dirt. It'll be there. It might look a little bit lumpy next to the paint. Well, here's but... here's my husband. Okay. Let's. I'll have you talk to him. Okay. <laughs> Why do you paint it? 
What is your name? Uh, my name is Bob. Bob Dave? Bob. Yep, and... Okay, and it, you painted my wife's car? Well, we didn't paint it. I mean, you can look at it and see it's not painted. We did this coating on it. Uh, it's genetic. Why did you do the coating? Because we thought her her car was someone else's. It looks very similar to this other car we were supposed to do that was in the same parking lot. It, it wasn't in a parking lot. Well, in, wherever it was. I don't know where it was. My employees went over there and did it. But it's a, it genetically modifies the paint. It's going to turn it into kind of a day glow green. And your wife's saying she doesn't want that? Okay. Well, give me your name and... and oh, I already did. Wife. Remember? I told you my name. I also told your wife my name. Didn't you guys okay. write it down yet? I mean, I wrote... Which, who, who do you work for? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a car painting what? company. It's, it's Roy's Car Painting Company and Genetically Modified Paint <laughs> Appliers. But it's not a big deal. It's going to look better. Like her, her you, car was. You don't. Uh, t- who, who? What's the name of your employer and what's the phone number? Oh, I already told you that. I keep telling you things and you keep asking me the same question again. It's like your you don't name listen. Is Bob. It's also. Okay. It's kind of like you don't listen. Uh, I don't. Why don't you listen better? Pardon? Look, can you tell that lady in the background to just please shut the fuck up? We're trying to have a conversation and you can't hear me when she's. You're, yeah. you're nuts. You're not. When she's but. yammering on. Aw, oh, we lost him. But I think I should call her back and, and just let her know it's a prank call because she seemed very upset about the whole paint job thing. Hello. Hey, you, we got disconnected somehow. I think I, I was driving kind of in a, in a mountainous... You, you, you don't sound like a rational, sane person. Why would you okay? say that? Pardon? No, why would you say that? I was actually calling back to just explain things to you. You, you don't... You won't. Who's your employer? Okay, I, I'm gonna come clean with you. Okay, I I work in a call center where we do prank calls. I'm gonna, okay, you're I'm, nuts. I'm, Goodbye. Why? I'm I'm trying to. September. Roy's the man, the man with the cacti touch. Only phone. Hello, everybody. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. This is episode 498, and that intro was by Liz Darwin. Thanks, Liz Darwin. This episode is brought to you by Lion 9, DeLorean Jackson, Miss to John, I See You, and I Regret Jumping. Thanks, you guys, for being supporters of the show, and thanks to the brand new supporters like Skate and Destroy, or sorry, it's Ska Hate and Destroy. Get it? It's like Skate and Hate put together. It's very edgy. David G, Chad R, Maruki, and Christine. Thanks for signing up for the Patreon, you guys, at patreon.com slash phone losers. That's the place where, if you like the show, you can support it and make more shows happen and get access to secret shows at patreon.com slash phone losers. I've got a couple things to mention here before we get started with the show. Number one is that we've hit 500 supporters on Patreon. We actually did that last month, too, but then when I got ready to mention it a couple weeks ago, I looked on the Patreon, and we were back down to 491 or something. So I'm like, crap, okay, maybe next month. But overall, for the month, it was 500 last month. And this month didn't start out at 500, but it's up to 500 now. So maybe when the end of the month gets here, it'll go back down again. But then hopefully it'll go back up and we'll just be at a consistent 500. But two months in a row, congratulations us. Thanks everybody for supporting this show and making it so that even when I'm away from home for weeks at a time, I'm still feeling obligated to do shows, which is a good thing. This is fun. Uh, I needed to say thank you to Patrick. He sent me a 3D printed hard drive mount for my 360. Not my Xbox, but my, uh, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. It's not here with me away from home. You know, my soundboard thing that I upgraded recently, I replaced the hard drive with an SD card so it wouldn't sound like it's from the late 90s. And I just had the SD card circuit board thing in there just sitting in there. It's like taped to the old hard drive. And Patrick, he was nice enough to just 3D print me a hard drive mount for that thing. And it works perfectly. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Patrick. I appreciate that. Today is Friday, September 14th, 2018. And you know what that means. Tomorrow is Saturday, September 15th, which is the Chicago meetup. Sorry, everyone. I'm not going to be able to make it. No, I'm just kidding. I I will be there. I'm going to get up tomorrow about 5 in the morning and try and get there by noon. I've got to drive for, I don't know, 4 or 5 hours. 
But we are meeting um, somewhere. Shit, where is it? Like, it's got to be announced by now, right? Let's look at my events page on Facebook. And, of course, I don't see it on here. Where the hell is it? All that's on here is a bunch of bullshit invites. Okay, I'll go to snowplowshow.com. It's in the show notes from the show I did earlier this week, I think. Yeah, there it is. We are hosting a public meetup tomorrow from noon until about 5 p.m. And it is at Emporium Logan Square, which is at 2363 North Milwaukee Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. But what is it? Like, it's an arcade, right? Yeah, yeah, there it is. There's a picture of it. I see pool tables, I see video games, it looks like a big crowded place, and I guess we're just going to be kind of hanging out there, so go to that place, Emporium Logan Square. I thought it had a name, like a name of a, a barcade or something. Maybe that's it, it's just called Emporium Logan Square. They must have switched locations, I thought it was something else. But anyway, go to that place tomorrow at noon, between noon and 5, and I will be there, Carlito will be there. Jag TV is going to be there, Laugh Track Matt, Giad, uh, several other people, a bunch of people have said they're going to be there. So I guess this is going to be a fairly big meetup that we're going to do. So look around for us. I'll probably be wearing my black PLA shirt, you know, the Wisconsin Bell motorcycle shirt, maybe. I don't know. I'm not planning what I'm going to be wearing, but look for me. Look for all of us. Say hello. Challenge us to video games and stuff, I guess. Maybe a game of pool. I suck at that. It's going to be fun. So everybody be there. I'm going to put links in the show notes to the event page and to the Facebook group page for it. And if you are anywhere near Chicago, you need to come to that and say hi. All right. I'm going to play a call that King Richard sent to me. And I know I usually play calls from other people at the end of the show, but this is pretty weird and everybody needs to hear it immediately. It's a short call. They were trying to uh, steal my shtick by calling apartments, and this is this is what happened. It's Thank you for calling the How may I help you? Hey, uh, I'm a tenant here, and I just had a quick question about paying rent. Okay. So I accidentally loaded my paycheck onto a Target card. Nice premise. Like a gift card. Like that. Oh, okay. And um. so I paid my rent to Target, and... They said that they would forward it on to you. I'm just wondering if you got that. Teehee. You sound like my friend Steve Dave. Is this a joke? Your, your friend Steve Dave? Yeah, what Steve hell? Dave in the corporate office. Uh, um, what I'm not the with corporate. Hell? I'm just a tenant. Okay, uh, good deal. Um, when's, the yeah, last, well, uh, when's the last time you talked to Steve Dave? Oh, I talk to Steve Dave all the time. Uh, he has a friend named um, Steve Dave Roy... Um, they're just a couple of guys I know that, uh, sometimes make interesting phone calls to apartment buildings. Uh, and I, uh, this why does this never happen to me? I've never called a place that I can remember. I mean, except when I called that 7-Eleven and Murdoch worked there, but King Richard and I regret jumping. They actually called a random apartment building. They claim I have no reason to think they're lying about this, although I'm a little suspicious and the guy actually knew about phone lizards. It kind of just feels like one of those, especially since you're not giving me your unit number. That sounds sound like losers. losers. They sound like a bunch of losers, if you ask me. Yeah, um, and it's, it's funny, because uh, Roy and Steve Dave, I think they might be uh, names to hide Brad Carter. Um, <sighs> what the as hell? The, the real name of it. So weird. Um, <laughs> Where did you get that, that name he, from? <laughs> Um, well, uh, this, um, this guy Brad, he runs a, he has a show, it's called The Snowplow Show. This guy knows all about um, me. The Snowplow Show? What a fucking creep, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's for snow enthusiasts, snowplow enthusiasts, but sometimes, uh... But what does that have to do know, with phone calls? Well, you know, I mean, uh, you'd, you'd have to ask him, because, you know, it's, uh, snow, cactuses, all the good stuff. Cacti. Um, the plural of cactus throw, is cacti. Throwing all the buzzwords. It sure is. It sure is. Do you, do you um, listen to the show? Uh, yes, I uh, heard about uh, the Snowplow Show from uh, the Dick Show. Um, yes. uh, another podcast. Uh, Going on their Brad show. called in is Kevin Landwy. Sure and, paid uh, off. <laughs> um, I've been listening to the Snowplow Show ever since. How long have you been a fan? Yeah. Uh, I want to say like six months. Have you ever heard the name Ira Garrett Jumping? Oh, shit. 
That's how it's pronounced? I didn't know that. Um, I always thought it was pronounced I regret jumping, but... Hmm. Uh, this guy yeah, knows no, you're pronouncing it wrong. That. You're, you're pronouncing it wrong. That's crazy. This guy knows everything about PLA. Some random apartment complex worker. Like, longtime fans know him as Ira Garrett jumping, and it just kind of gets slurred together as Ira Garrett jumping. That. Yeah, it's kind of like how, it's like, you know, it's kind of that mix Today's up. show is sponsored by Lion9, DeLorean Jackson, Mr. John, I See You, and Ira Garrett jumping. I just want to correct that. Apparently, I've been saying it wrong all these of years. Like pin versus Sorry, pin, Ira. You know, uh, ever, ever join the PLA Discord? Not that I'm I know not anything in the about PLA that. Dis- no, um, of course, of course not, because you're just a tenant. But uh, you know, uh, no, I haven't been in the Discord. Uh, joined a couple of Mixlers. Um, Mixlr here and there. Yeah, it's Mixlr. What, what was your username? Uh, Peen Wienerstein. Peen Wienerstein. <laughs> I thought this call was recorded for quality assurance. <laughs> um. <laughs> so Peen Wienerstein is the name that Dick from the Dick Show goes by on Twitter and I guess on Discord too. So I don't think this is Dick we're talking to. They're talking to, I mean. This guy's full of shit. It's it's not to train the people how to pronounce Peen Wienerstein. Wienerstein, join the PLA Discord and as Peen Wienerstein, please. Have you ever heard of Olga or King Richard? I have. Um, I, Olga, her, uh, I think uh, Olga told the, was she the one that did the joke about, like on the most recent episode about the cordless phones and amusement parks? I don't know. She tells really lame jokes. Yeah, she does. I don't know. Brad seemed to does think it was ever. funny. Brad doesn't know anything. He's a dummy. What about King Richard? Hey. What's your opinion of that hey. guy? Well, if he, was, if he was King Dick, that'd be better. <laughs> yeah, King Richard. He's kind of a dick, of don't you think? You know, he can be, but you got to be in this business, you know? That's true. That's you true. Gotta, otherwise, so, you can't, you can't yeah. do beautiful things like ding timber. You know, you can't. What, what happens to ding timber if, uh, if you're not a dick? Good point. Good point. All right. Well, it's been really fun talking to you. Can you just do me one more favor? Sure. Beg Henrik to rejoin the Discord. All right. Well, let me do it publicly right now. Henrik, get back in that Discord right now, dude. You're yeah. right. fucking everything up. Yeah, right, Henrik, Henrik uh, you fucker. You. Come on, Henrik. We miss you. You are awesome. All right. We love you. Yeah, and, uh, all right. I love you, too. Thank you so much for calling. You actually made my day a lot better. So. <laughs> all right. Bye. 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 Kisses. Bye. Hang up the phone. So bizarre. They just call up some apartment complex, and they're not only a Snowplow Show listener, they're also a Dick Show listener. Dick Show is a great show, by the way. If anyone wants to listen to that, thedickshow.com. I listen to every single episode of The Dick Show, and apparently at least one of their listeners listens to every single episode of The Snowplow Show. So thanks for sending that in, King Richard, and I regret jumping. I miss Henrik, too. Let's play a quick song by Henrik right now. I'm going to do some car ding numbers today, believe it or not. 14 days into September, ding timber, whatever. I'm finally going to do some car dings. I guess both Axpa and Dwight are managing the car ding number this year. So I got a hold of Axpa, asked if he had any for me. He's like, sure, and gave me these numbers. Looks like I have nine or ten here. And I didn't ask for the voicemails. He gave me the voicemail on one of them because it sounded kind of funny. But who needs the voicemails? He just kind of uh, gave me the number and wrote out a description of what they said and what they sounded like, what their names are, if they gave their names. And I'm going to try and call some of them right now, see if they pick up. Hello? Hey there, it's Roy. Uh, I left a note on your car about dinging it. Oh, yes. Hi, Roy. How are you? Hey, pretty good. Sorry about that. You know what? To, to tell you the truth, I can't tell where where you did. 
Uh, it's kind of on the passenger back, back passenger. Uh, yeah, yeah, but on the side. Quarter panel. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I'll look again. I've looked a couple times, kind of around the car. I I haven't. Did you see a mark that? I thought I did. It might, have, it might have just been from my vantage point. I'm in a wheelchair, and okay. I, you know, an electric wheelchair, and I got a hand cramp, and I just kind of, you know, just. Oh, ran. you hit it with your you hit it with your chair, not with your car. Yeah, but repeatedly, over and over and over. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Um, there was a girl. I, I was trying to ram into her because it's like kind of. Oh, nice. it, It's how I meet trying women. To take her out. Yeah. I, well, that's how. Hey, I, I like it. That's. Yeah, it's something okay. I do. Like, I just say I have a hand cramp, and they feel sorry for me. <laughs> but she, like, dodged out of the way, and I hit your car instead. Okay. <laughs> That's but, funny. Yeah. But, um, I will take a look again, Ray. I, to tell you the truth, I haven't seen anything okay. there. So All right. Um, I'm not overly concerned. Um, That's good. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, I don't even know what I would do if there were, you know? Yeah. So, um, um, you know, I'd pay for it if it was a problem. Well, let me, let me, let me take a look again and I'll, I'll see. I mean, I've, I, I didn't know where to look. I appreciate you leaving the note. That was yeah. very nice of you. Yep. Um, I will take a look again and I, is this a number, a good number to call you back? If, if yeah, I yeah do? this one or, or the other one I left, they, they both go to this okay. phone. Okay. Um, okay, I will, uh, I'll take a look again, but again, I, I, a couple times I've looked around the car, I haven't seen anything, so I think you're, you're pretty much in the clear okay. on this. Well, great. Um, yeah, just let me know if you do. Okay. I appreciate it. Thanks, Roy. All right, bye. All right, bye. Well, shit, that was boring. Guy didn't get upset at all. The note on here said that he sounded pissed, so I thought he was going to get pissed off, but nope. Nicest guy ever. What an asshole. Oh, look at this. We got an incoming call. It's from an area code I was trying to call earlier. Hello, this is Roy. Oh, hi. This is uh, Judy. Oh, hey, Judy. I, I guess I dinged your car. Pardon? Yeah, you dinged my car. My, uh... I just wanted to know if you you had insurance. Um. Well, I can I can pay for it. I I don't have a car. I, I'm in a wheelchair. I'm in one of those electric wheelchairs, and I was coming toward your car, and I had a hand cramp, and I just ran straight into your car. Oh, the wheelchair! I thought it was your car. No, no, I'm in a wheelchair. It's kind of my car, but you know, it's like a wheelchair. Uh -oh. Oh, okay. But, you know, um, like, uh, my hand was on the, the little button that makes it go, mm -hmm. the little video game thing, and, and um, I got a hand cramp, and I just ran straight into your car. Oh, okay. My, um, my husband needs to go, because I think he just needs a paint job, and uh, yeah, like you say, yeah. you're in a wheelchair, and you don't drive a car, but she wanted your phone number to talk to you. I see. Yeah, well, can I be honest with you? Hello? Uh, what, what is it? Well, um, I was actually trying to hit a girl. There was this girl next to your car, and I was trying to hit, I was like in my wheelchair, and I was going really fast, and I was trying to ram into her, and she moved out of the way, and I hit your car. Because that's how I meet girls. I just, I run into them, and I'm like, oh, hand cramp. And, you know, that's a conversation starter. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> yeah, but then she moved out of the way, and then I, I just, you know, I was trying to get her attention, so I just kept backing up and ramming into your car over and over, like yeah. several, several times, just over and over. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like I said, uh, we have insurance on the car. Yeah. But it's all scratched up there. Uh, yeah, well, it's just in the back, accurate. right? In the back? No, no, it's the... the the passenger side. Yeah, the, the no, no, I'm sorry, it's 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 my side, yeah. Yeah, the but your side on the back sorta. Of. Um no it's on the front fender. Yeah. Well I don't know cars that well because I can't get in one. I'm in a wheelchair. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, I, I pretty much purposely did it. I, I pretty much I, I just 
kept ramming over and over and over. I was hitting the backup button and hitting the forward button, like high speed, over and trying to get this girl's attention, and she was completely ignoring me. Yeah, but I don't, I don't understand why you do that. <laughs> I was it's trying to get really her. Yeah, I was trying to get her attention though, because I, I, it's hard for me to meet girls in a wheelchair. Right. Um, well, like I said, my insurance still wanted to talk to you, so it's between you and uh, my insurance. Yeah, you can give them my number if you want. I'll just tell them I was trying to meet a girl. Sure. Uh, it's okay, Rod, I only have your first name. What's your last name? Uh, it's Gerbel. How do you spell that? G-H-E-R-B-Z. It's kind of the girl's fault, though, really, when you think about it. Because she moved out of the way. I was trying to hit her right. really hard. I was trying to hit this girl. Yeah. And she moved out of the way, so it's her fault. Right. So, you know, it, it, it uh, yeah, but my car damage, that's what needs to be paid is the damage in the car, and that's what I'm telling you, Roy. So yeah, if I would have got that girl's <laughs> phone number, I would give her, I would give you her phone number. But she didn't damage the car, it was your wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, I, I don't want to discuss it with you because I said we're, we're taking the car in. Uh, yeah. Because or whatever they do at the auto, bo the auto body shop. I mean, my husband's taking it in today at uh, 1 o'clock. How much is that going to cost? We don't know. Hmm. So we're trying to get an estimate. Yeah. Yeah, let them know a wheelchair hit it. Maybe you'll get a discount. I use that all the time I'll to say, get discounts. I'll, yeah, I'll say you're in a wheelchair that yeah. you don't own an automobile. Right, yeah. Right? Uh-huh, yep. I'm not allowed okay. to drive an automobile. Well, the, the number uh, shown here, what is your phone number? Do you live in California or, or here in Vegas? Yeah, I live in Vegas. Um, it's just uh, I have this number. Okay. What is it a 702? I mean, I'm on my phone right now. Oh, no, it's, a, it's a 508 number. Oh, 508. That's a California number. Yeah, 508 is California. Yeah, I was just trying to meet a girl. You know, I just, I just right. trying to run into a girl. If I see a pretty girl, I ram mm -hmm. my wheelchair into her, and I'm like, oh, hand cramp. Yeah. And they're well, like, oh, look what's at you. The other, Ain't what's you the cute? other four digits, Roy? 508 what? Uh, 3125. I don't know. Okay, but it's 508. Uh, that, that's not the whole number. Yeah, that's just the area code. 508, there's three digits missing. 3125 is the last four. Yeah, the middle the middle digit is five. No, no, there's, there's 508 that has to be three numbers after the 508, and then 3125 is the last number. Yeah, I was, just, I was giving you the middle digits of the three numbers in the middle. Okay, and what's the area code? 508. Okay. That's what I'm saying, Roy. Right? Five zero eight three one two five. Yeah, seven eight four. Seven eight four is the middle. Oh, seven eight four. Yeah. So it's five zero eight area code seven eight four three one two five. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Well, I hope it's. Just, um, yeah, I called you once and, and I left a message. Uh, yep, I remember I don't that. Know. Yeah, because you didn't pick up. It was just a recording. So I said, it's Judy, and I left my phone number. Yeah, I yeah, remember. Yeah. I remember that. Like, it was ringing, and I yeah. was smoking weed, and I'm like, I don't want to answer this. And I just I just hit the uh, FU button. But but I, I left you a message. I said, Judy, and I expect to yeah. call. That's why I tried to call you back, and you didn't answer. So I guess we're right. even. Right, I was. Uh, what I was doing, uh, see, I shop at Smith's, where you're at. Were you doing some grocery shopping? Y yeah, that's where I go for my groceries. We're like twins. Yeah. So, <laughs> I had to pick up some milk this morning, some cereal. So, when you're on the road, you, you can't, I can't answer my, my phone because the police stop, it's a $50 fine for me. You need one of those bloop tooths. So, 
So when I get home, I notice you. I, I notice three calls from you. I said, "Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, I wonder oh. who this." I didn't recognize. That was me. Man. I'm aggressive. When I see something I want, yeah. I call over and over and over, yeah. or I, or I ram them with my wheelchair. You know, really yeah. hard. Well, wow. what is that? Girl, so you could have injured her. I know that. Like, there's this one last year. I actually um, sprained her her knee. She she was a gymnast oh. and she had to quit gymna gymnasticing for like six months because I hit her so mm -hmm. hard. Oh. And she didn't even go oh, out with right. me. Right, but uh, you probably had to pay her doctor bill, right? No, no. What's she gonna do? Like like sue sue a guy in a wheelchair? That's a hate crime. Um. Well, you know, when you're in a wheelchair, it doesn't mean you don't have medical. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, usually I have medical. My yeah. husband has medical, so. That's nice. But yeah. anyway. Um, I was just, yeah, I was just, sure. I was just hitting your car over and over and over and over and over like 20 times in a row just to impress a girl. That's all. Right. But then on, on, uh trying to hit her you kind of your wheelchair scraped my car right yeah but it also yeah, i saw your note because i was driving home with a little note just left in the air it's really windy yeah yeah it, I scraped, saw your note. it scraped up my wheelchair too oh it did yeah, yeah so i'm glad you that's the reason yeah. i wanted your number because um i'm going to need your insurance information well, the insurance has to call you first, Roy, and then she'll give you all the info we have. Okay, yeah, I'll need your policy number because I'm going to get money for my wheelchair damages. Well, not for me because oh. <laughs> I didn't hit you. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, but no, it's, it's, uh, I think it was kind of your fault, though, because it was parked there. If it hadn't been no, parked no, there. I'm, I'm, I'm handicapped, too. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, you know, I've had surgeries on my knees, and I, I was in the handicapped area. You know, with all those handicapped spaces? No, it wasn't my fault. I was in the store. Yeah, but I'm I just saying, if, 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 if your car hadn't been there, I would have probably been able to run into that girl. <laughs> but no, no, no. I don't know how you have your story. But anybody who's handicapped can park in that area. Yeah. So, yeah, it, and I'm handicapped, too. I don't, I'm not in a wheelchair, but... You know, yep, you're arms not as and legs. As me. Yeah, I got my handicap for my the girl. But yeah, you know, you need to talk to my insurance, or, and they'll they'll discuss issues with you. Yeah, I was just trying to hit on a girl, literally. Right. Yeah. You know, hand cramp. <laughs> I'm yeah. glad I wasn't out because you could have. Yeah, I might have run. I might have ran into you. Be Andre. I, yeah, you I, can't be Andre like that. You I've, have to be I've a hit, nice person. I like women. I've hit other people by accident trying to hit girls. Like once I was trying yeah. to hit a cute girl, and she moved out of the way, and I hit an ugly girl. And that oh, was yeah. that was a debacle. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> yep. Okay, I need to go on uh, because I going? have an appointment, but I've got your name here. What appointment do you I have? I'm sure to get in touch with you, okay? Because okay, I don't what, know what you're where, where are you going? What appointment do you have? Oh, no, I have my hand off. It's way out in Henderson. You you have your what? My my hand doctor. I've got an uh, injury oh, on my hand. Your hand yeah, doctor. I, he, okay. He takes care of my hand, so. I see. I might right. need surgery, too. Okay. Well, I've got the number here. Okay. Thanks uh, for uh, okay. notifying me. Okay, right. bye. I, I hope your insurance pays for my wheelchair. And there she goes. Yeah, that's the one I tried to call earlier, and I guess she wouldn't pick up because she doesn't have a bloop tooth. Like she's a damn hobo or something. What the hell? Another one. Crap, crap, crap. Where's the thing? Hello? Hi, who is this? Somebody called me three times. Okay, settle down. I'm, this is Roy. I, I think I accidentally dinged your car, if you're the person I called. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that was me. Uh, oh, okay. Did, was it the back bumper? Yeah, no, it was under the car. Underneath the car. How did you ding it, ding it underneath? Well, by ding, I mean, um, but I, I'm a street artist. I, I do spray painting. And I spray painted my signature word cactus on the bottom side of your car. I, you know, I just climbed under there with spray paint, and I had a mask on, and it's it's a seven color uh, drawing on the bottom of your car. 
He spray painted the bottom of my car. Yeah, like the entire thing. It's like a a billboard down there. It, it's it's mostly green. Uh, it's like four shades of green. There's some blue, some yellow, and some white. Like I. Spent, Why did you do that? I spent a lot of money on the spray paint because I'm a street artist. Mm -hmm. I'm a street artist, and I I do paintings. Huh. So it's. Uh, yeah, but, what? but you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to do that without my permission. Well, no, like, I'm a street artist. I'm a tagger, you know? Like, we go around and spray paint things. But we're not, like, a gang or anything. It's it's art. We're not just spray painting. It's like in gang letters, the word cactus. But it looks the amazing. Cactus? So, where, so where's the ding at? What side? The, the ding, um, no, the dinging is another word for tagging. So I was leaving a note oh. just apologizing. What are you talking about? You're apologizing I, that you painted my car. Well, I just figured it's the least I can do. I'm, I'm not a, a street thug or anything. I'm just an artist. So I'm just writing a note and letting you know if you look under there, like when somebody redoes your muffler or whatever, they're going to see this amazing painting. <laughs> so you crawled under my car during work and and did that? Well, I didn't know it was your work. I just crawled under there and painted it took uh it took over an hour a lot of spray paint where do you live but you city? should you should see it though i'm i'm in michigan i don't want to i don't want to tell you exactly where i live but huh. I, and what is your name my name is roy gerbel roy gerbel yep i'm a street artist I, i've been doing this for a long time it's not a problem it's not a big deal it's just, you know, it's just art. That's all. Mm hmm Okay. Let me just, um... What? Let me see. How do you spell your last name? Uh, G-E-R-B-I-L. Z, Z as in zebra? Yep. E-R-B-I-L. Roy. But you're not upset, are you? Because, I mean, it's not, it doesn't hurt your car or anything. It's just underneath. Well, does it wash off? No, it's spray paint. It'll be there forever. I actually sprayed a clear coat on it as well. So you're, you're, the bottom of your car is more waterproof than it was before. It's not going to rust. Oh, my God. They might have a problem. Like, if you ever need to remove your muffler, it might be harder harder to get off. Who, who's that? Uh, who's that yelling? Nobody's yelling. I We're heard... just talking. Nobody's yelling. Oh, he was kind of looking under. The... What's wrong with you? Well, no, nothing's wrong with me. This he was a prank phone call. No, he was yelling. He said, "Where did you do it under the car?" Okay, well, he sounded like he was. This is a prank was... phone call. What? It's not a prank phone call. What are you talking about? Yeah, this is a prank phone call. I'm a street what, artist. What you, do uh, you tell him to shut the fuck up. Tell that guy to shut the fuck up. What? Why are you saying shut the fuck up? What he, is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. He sounds like he's abusive or something. He's like yelling at you. Do you need me to call someone? Oh, my God. What? Hey, listen, buddy. Hey, listen, buddy. I'm not your give buddy. Give me your address. I'm not your buddy. Hey, buddy, you just you give me your address. Listen to him. He, I, got, I got your phone number. I've got a, pervers a person that works in the IRS, and I can look it up, and I'll come and we'll send it. That sounds like an abuse of government powers. You shouldn't do that. I'm going to report you. Where, where on the car did you ding? It's underneath. Like, you got to not be a fat ass and be able to get under the car and look. So I guess you now you're being a Now you're being abusive. So now, the, now we're even. So well, tell at, me where you ping. At least I don't beat my wife. <laughs> we're not married. Well, what, whoever she is, does that make it okay to beat her if you're not married? Huh? Does it make you uh, okay to talk to me like this? What's she saying? Sir? Oh, he hung up after he said that. There's no dedoot for me to hear when they hang up. So I just sit there and talk to myself, I guess. Wow, we got another call back. I just need to sit here at my computer all day and wait for calls to come in from people I called earlier. It looks like that was the one named Sherry, and the one before was Judy. I can mark her off of the list. Let's try another one here. 
Hello. Hey, Rod. Yeah. Hey, it's it's Roy. Um, I left a note on your car. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for leaving the note on my car. You're welcome. Yeah. This is Big Dave. Who? Hey, you signed the note, Big Dave. Oh yeah, yeah. That's my uh, spy name. Okay. <laughs> very good. Can you tell me? What damage you did? Stupid listeners. Uh, I was um, installing a GPS tracker underneath your car. And um, I stripped one. Of, I stripped a bolt. You know, I had to remove like a, a, a bolt thing to mount the GPS tracker into the car. And I got the bolt back on and the GPS tracker installed. But now the bolt's stripped underneath the car. Wow. Yep. Okay. So I need to get the bolt replaced. Yeah, probably. I don't know how you would get it off of there at this point because it's kind of like more round than hexagon shaped anymore. I mean, okay. I, I, I really did a number on it. Well, why were you installing the GPS tracker? I'm, I'm a private investigator. I was just hired to put a GPS tracker on there. On on my car? Yeah. Do you you have any idea who hired you to do that? Oh, I can't tell. It's uh, you know. It's, it, okay. I, I promised I wouldn't tell. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. But I I sure as heck don't know of anybody that uh, that would have done that. But I I will uh, I will check it. Of course, I I went around the car about four or five times trying to figure out. Uh, uh, what damage you'd done, and of course I couldn't see anything. Yeah, well, and, it's, it's uh, up. It's up in the wheel well. You wouldn't see it from out, out. You know, just walking around the car. Right, right. It's just, it's just a D GPS tracker. Don't mess with it. It's mine. Well, uh, <laughs> it might be yours, but I, I'm. I don't need a GPS tracker on my car. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's part of my, uh, you know, it's just my job, and, um, you know, just don't be removing that. It's a $500 tracker. I'll know if you take it off. Well, well, I'm sure you will, because it won't be going anywhere. There won't be any place to track it to. Why? It, don't you go well, I don't want a, I don't want a GPS tracker on my car. Well, just pretend. If I, if I knew some reason for it to be there, uh, that's fine, but, uh. Uh, this doesn't make any sense to me yeah, at just, all. Just pretend it's not there. It's not a big deal. Everybody gets tracked. It's, it's nothing. Well, new. yes, I, I have tracking on my phones and my yep. all all of my equipment that I use. So yep. See, uh, who, ca who cares? What's it matter, really? Well, <laughs> well. When I get rid of the car, then it's going to go with its car. Yeah, well, why are you getting rid of the car? Because it's being tracked? <laughs> no, because it's got a strip bolt someplace that I don't know what what, what that's going to, what it's holding on to or what it's going to do. Well, no, it, it's still, everything's fine. It's not hurting anything. It, it's just like a, a bolt that holds the front fender down. I just had to unscrew part of that bolt and... You know, put the tracker mount into that bolt and tighten it back down. But I was using metri oh, I, metric wrenches, yeah, instead of imperial, like a dummy. Oh. I brought the wrong wrenches. Okay. okay, well, if if I get it off, no. uh, just give me a call and I'll send it to you. No, don't take the tracker off. You're not allowed. It's part of my job. I am allowed to take anything off from my own equipment. You are not. It's against the policy of I, I had someone sign a contract and everything it's not allowed to be removed until the until this job is over okay well you let me know when it's over Dave and I appreciate you leaving a note and let me know that that uh, that some damage was done to the car and I will get the damage re I will get it repaired Okay, well, it's not so, damage, it's just a bolt, that's all. It's just a bolt that holds the fender on. That's all. 
Okay. But thank you for the call and letting me know. Okay. Yeah, no problem at all. It's, it's, I, I, like, you're not going to try and charge me for it, are you? Because I feel like it's kind of, I mean, it, we're even because the bolt was stripped and I kept, every time the wrench would spin around, it, I would, like, scrape my knuckles. So it damaged my knuckles more than your car. Well, I apologize for that, but uh, if, uh, if I'd known you, it could have kind of come over to my house and, and, uh, and uh, done it in my garage. So, well, that'd be weird. That'd be awkward. Like I say, if, if when I take, I'm taking the car in for service here next week. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, they'll be doing some work on it, and if I can get them to get it off, I'll get it off, and I'll just I'll send it to you. Send me what? The tracker. No, don't take the tracker off. <laughs> okay, well, you keep following it. Well, I, yeah, I'll know where it's, where it's at. You can't turn it off. But just leave it on your car. It needs to stay on the car. It's for my report. Uh, can you give me an idea for how many years? Oh, no, it's not even a year. Well, maybe not. I mean, it just depends on how long they pay me for. I hope they're paying you a whole hell of a lot. Oh, they do. Okay. If you try and charge me for that bolt, they'll pay for that too. Well, yes, that would be good. That would be good for them to pay you for it. Yeah. For sure. Just okay, buddy. Well, don't, thank- just don't take the tracker because I only have two of those, and they're expensive. I bet they are. Yep. I bet they are. But... uh uh, I just <laughs> I'm finding it just about unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it's anybody got, would want a tracker. It's got a cellular connection on it, and it's got a camera. So if I see you poking around down there, I'm gonna like get on the intercom of the device well, and, I, and yell at actually, you to quit. Actually, I could probably have pictures of you around the car because I got a camera in the car that was would take pictures of any movement of, outside the car. So I probably have pictures of you. Well, good. I have pictures you, you of you, probably, too. You probably saw the camera in the car. Yeah, yeah. I know what kind of car it is. I know what you got in there. Yeah. So. I was I was inside the car, too. Really? Yeah, because I had to hook up the wire for the tracker to the, the fuse panel. I just piggybacked off of the, the cigarette lighter fuse. I'm thinking maybe you've got the wrong car. Oh, no, it's definitely your car. Why would I leave a note on the wrong car? I don't know. That's what I thought maybe you had been drinking or something and did. I'm not. I wasn't drinking. I'm a, I'm a professional. Okay. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I don't know why you think this is so funny. Well, I don't think it's funny at all because I don't have any reason to be tracked. I'm retired. I live, I live right here in North Las Vegas, and I've I've been here for since 2012, and I don't have any anybody that would be interested in tracking me. So. Yep, that's what they all say. Okay, buddy. Well, thank you for thank you for letting me know that uh, I'll stop looking for dings and dents around the car. Okay. Yeah, and and don't touch that tracker. If I see you down there, I'm going to yell at you through the intercom. Okay. Hey, what? I might just get down and take a look at it just so you can yell at me. I want to hear. Okay, and do it. You'll see. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, All right. buddy. All right. I ain't your buddy, Chief. You want to give me your name again? Roy? It's Roy, but you can call me Big Dave. You got a last name? Zerbel. Z-E-R-B-I-L? Uh-huh. Yeah, oh my gosh. Like, nobody knows how to spell that. And you got it on the first try. <laughs> okay. Okay, my friend. You take care and have a good day, and thanks for the call back. All right, bye. Have a bye. Good day too, bye. So on that one, there was actually a voicemail that AXPA sent to me. Let's see if I can find it here. Hello, Dave. This is uh, Mr. Are you... Left a note on my windshield about dinging my car. Ah, and Dave. So I'm just giving you a call to. Uh, he called me Dave. Check in with you. My number is zero eight. And if you get a chance, give me a call. Thank you very much. He sounds kind of like Doctor Demento. 
What's Dr. Demento's real name, everyone? Maybe it's this guy. Hello. Hey there. Um, I left a note on your car and about dinging it. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> yep. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Yep. That's nice. I appreciate you leaving a note on my car. Most people don't do that. Oh, yeah. No, I'm a Christian. Like, did you see the damage? I'm like, oh, I did. Yep. I did. Yep. What it's did... okay. So... Yeah, I was just, uh, so... I was trying to hit someone. There, there was this girl standing um, just next to your car. And I was trying to hit uh -huh. her. I was trying to hit her, and she dived out of the way. And I just hit your car. You, were... you said you were trying to hit her? Yeah, I was trying to hit the girl. Oh, wow. Well, she's a bitch. Okay. Oh, I thought you said you was a Christian. Oh, I am. I am, but, you know, I Christians can get well, revenge. Oh, my God. She, okay. She just, she just kind of dived out of the way, and I ended up hitting your car instead. Yeah, you did. I okay. Guess, I guess I would have hit it anyway if I'd hit her, but... Yeah, you would have. It would be more like <laughs> she hit your car, so it wouldn't technically be my fault. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, I mean, that's weird. Like for you to be saying that you were hit, so you were trying to hit someone. Like that's well, she was a bitch. Kind of strange. She was a bitch. But you ain't gotta run over nobody, though. I know, but like she had it coming. No, just just drive by. We don't run over nobody. Just do a drive by. Is that what you said? I said just drive off. Don't run over nobody. That's not good. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I'm not gonna shoot her. Not, I'm no, not, I'm not crazy. No, nothing like that. But I appreciate you leaving a note on my car, though. Yep, you're welcome. She got away, but you know I'll see her again. Eventually. Okay. Okay. She's got it coming. Well, don't do nothing to her. That's not Christian-like. No, I, I'm not gonna kill her or anything. I just, I just wanted to like wound her, like just hurt her legs. Oh wow! No, okay. No, you're acting like it's weird. It's not weird. It's, it's like she she's done some terrible things to me too. Oh okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate you. I mean, I'll get it fixed. I guess. Okay. No big deal. Yep. yep. You you need my insurance? Mm, not really. That's okay. But it's not like a lot of damage, right? Right. It's not. It's just some scratches, and it's okay. But I tried to slow down. So I wouldn't hurt the car because I only wanted to hurt her. Yeah, it's okay. I don't. It's, <laughs> it's okay. Yep. I mean. Okay. No big deal. So hey, you single? I am. Cool. Like um, you know what? What you doing this weekend? Uh, actually, I have basketball. I have sons that play basketball, so I'll be in tournaments all weekend. Ah, darn it. Where Where do you play at? I could come and watch. We Actually, could, they play in Oklahoma City. We we can hang out after, get some burgers. Yeah, they they play in Oklahoma City. Give me a call. And I'll let you know where where they're gonna be at. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. All right. And what's your name again? Uh, this is Roy. Okay. All right, Roy. Give me a call. I'm Keisha. Okay. Thanks, Keisha. I'll, I'll see you at the game. Okay. I'm the one with the mustache. Yes, sir. All right. See you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we need to have a vote for, like, you know, the top ten creepiest calls I've ever made. I think that one might make it. Maybe. Maybe not. It's up to you guys. I bet you I'm not going to get any of these others to pick up. I mean, there's just two left. I don't know how many I've done now. But these last two, they're not picking up. They just don't answer. But maybe they'll call me back later. Your call has been four. Yep, that one's four rings, goes to voicemail. You know, I didn't tell that lady before I was using my car to hit her. It's just my wheelchair, you know? Hand cramp. So it's okay. She didn't ask for any details. That's why I didn't bring it up. Your call has been four. No answer on that one either. So I guess we're done with car dings for today. I don't know how long this show's gonna be. It might be kind of a short one. But at least I got a few cardings done, finally. 
Also, um, I missed Carlito's show this week. Did he do carding calls on his show? Because I completely missed it. I didn't hear if he did do any. I should probably try and listen to his show tonight, this week's show, or maybe just ask him. The whole time I've been doing these calls, by the way, I have been seeing uh, pictures from Carlito hanging out with Laugh Track Matt. I guess he arrived in Chicago. Oh, and there's one from Giad. We're all in a super secret Skype conversation. Everyone's posting pictures. There's one of Jag with somebody. Not sure who that is, but hopefully I'll be joining them tomorrow. This isn't just some elaborate ruse where I get to Chicago and nobody shows up. All right, let's listen to some voicemails. Hey, Bradley. Hello. This is Gordon Bombay. Hey, Gordon. How you doing? Great. How's your little uh, pilgrimage going? Just great. A little trip to Chicago? Yep. Having a good time? Tomorrow I will be, maybe. I'm enjoying your show. It's been really good. Thank you. Good you. job there, buddy. Thanks. Hey, you know what an underrated HOA prank is? I don't. It's when you call people to say that you're having a secret meeting about them. Remember that? Mm-hmm. You should do that again if you ever do a show again. All right, well, you have fun. Oh, shit. Shit. Am I getting a call? Crap. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let's see who this is. Where is this coming from? Okay. Here it is. What? So, basically, they're just trying to pull one on you. Hello? They'll probably try to Hello? Like, get your information. Wow. And then go from there. Like, they might try to get your address, and then they would go. Hello? And they would know where you live and stuff. Right. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? <laughs> right, yeah. So, I'm saying hello. Hey. 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 Lady. This is weird. Hey, you idiot. Can you hear me? My microphone's definitely on. Hey. Like to have anyway. Hey! Um, hey! We'll, we'll get him Did he say he's gonna get me? Yeah, I believe it. They, they call me three times a week saying, oh, you got free money waiting for you. Come uh, pick it up. Yeah, right. I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm just a prank caller. I'm not one of those guys. Hey! Alright, that was two minutes of them not hearing me. And I know my microphone is hooked up properly. They should be able to hear me. I don't know why. Like, did were they not even listening? I don't know. That was weird. Fun. Love you, bye. Alright, that was Gordon Bombay. Yeah, yeah, great idea, Gordon Bombay. Call up a homeowner, tell them I'm having a meeting about them. I actually don't remember doing that, but that sounds pretty funny. Hey, Brad. Uh, just good to back in the year. Hey. Right, call and say hi. Okay. Yay, okay, bye. Great, great voicemail. Thanks for that. Hi, Mr. Carter. Hi. What you do? Oh, my God. So much small talk in the voicemails I'll, today. Uh, I have a suggestion. Uh, to make things more confusing for recipients, you should uh, spell out your last name Give it a little more French uh, flair by spelling it Z H E R B A I L L E Z H E R B A I L L E. Okay, I'll Jabel. do it. Jabel. Jabel. Great idea. I'll do it. All right, bye. Hi, Brad. This is Dr. Goebbels calling. I was just wondering, what is the origin story of the name Roy Jabel? How did you come up with that? Thanks. Uh, this again. I know I've explained this before, but originally, in the 90s, when I used the name Roy, Roy was a very perverted character. He really liked the gerbils. Because, you know, the whole Richard Gere and the gerbil up his butt thing was a thing. Was that a thing? I, I don't even know that whole story, but a lot of calls that me and Zach did involved Roy 
being perverted with gerbils. So his last name was Gerbil. Hey, stupid, but instead I always thought I'd like to share something that has changed my life that helps me decide when I should I open hear my mouth you. or shut it. So it goes, Speak up. does this need to be said? Does this need to be said by me? Right here, right now? What could this accomplish? Yes, I'm reading. Don't laugh at me. Kind of out of the blue, but maybe someone out there needed to hear it like I did ten years ago. What's happening? All right. What? What the fuck was that? Hey Brad, just calling <clears throat> calling on in from Tampa, Arizona. Hey. And uh, you were you said in the last show it's kind of weird that you know you were my uh like you know part of my normalcy, I guess like being normal and everything. But yeah. I mean, really, if I think about it, I mean, you know, it's my parents obviously and all that kind of stuff. But uh, kind of true. Like I've been listening to you, I guess. I'm the only for, constant in your uh, life. How long is the stuff I should remember? Not normal. Like 13 or just constant. I'm 18 now. So, like, basically the entire history of it. Yep. I'm um, basically your father. I think, at least. And, like, yeah, no, like, I haven't always been, you know, I've gone to, like, juvie before, gone to, like, different, you know, those, like, troubled teen Bunch camp of troublemakers thing. on my show. And, like, sometimes the only like a really way to entertain yourself is like with a iPod shuffle, you know? Yeah. And you can one get of those. Uh, like iTunes podcasts on that. So we'd always get like the Snowplow show on it. I remember. And, uh, and yeah, you know, like eventually at those types of places, you get like to a certain point where you can get like an, an additional phone call. <laughs> so like, I don't know if you like even remember me or whatever, but I would like use space like every now and then, like kind of rarely like leave, actually leave voicemails on the, uh, on the PLA voicemail line, like mean, I, you know, I'd hear them played. I have to like mean voicemails. manually sift through all the different MP3 files <laughs> to find it. But no, it's true. Like I'm not being weird. It's, it's definitely like a symbol of like routine. You You're know? such a jerk. It's kind, of, it's kind of weird how it turned out that way, I guess. But I don't know. It's, 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 it's yeah, you know, it's good. I like it. Yeah, it's fun. Me I too. Like to see, I like seeing how it changed, and you know. When I got into like, the most legal trouble I have forgotten and like, around the same time you did, well, like, um, like a couple months before. So I don't know. It's kind of like solidarity. It's pretty like, you know, I don't know. We're twinsies. Anyway. It, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, no. Yeah. Anyway. Awesome show. Whatever. Hey. Cactus, cactus, cactus. Yeah. Water. You too. Okay. Bye. I'm like your criminal spirit animal or something. Hey, Brad. It's Colonel Angus T is here again. Okay. Disregard my last message because I'm a fucking hobo and can't record a message correctly. All right. Anyway, I, I just wanted heard to it. say that your show is the best and has got me so many lady saggy piss grabs. Whenever I want to put a bitch in the mood, I just put on the snowplow show. You set them up and I Aww. knock them down with some Colonel Angus tears. That's cactus, great. Cactus, Brad. Keep up the good work. Glad to hear it. Hey, Brad. This is Bob Bam. Hey, in, Bob uh, with some advice for carding calls. Okay. Uh, I thought it would be really it's funny if to like spice up uh, the carding notes a little bit. You could go to like Walmart and buy something that's like hilarious, like Paul Blart Mall Cop on DVD or something, yep. something funnier than that, and uh, write the carding note on the back of the receipt and then leave that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought that would be a funny addition there. All Every, right. Everybody Bye, do Brad. that. Everybody buy a Paul Blart and then return it because you don't want that. But they'll let you keep the receipt, and that's what you write your carding note on. Hopefully Walmart doesn't put a bunch of coupons on the back of your receipt so you have somewhere to write on. Instead of you're right about Facebook, I think my only problem with it was I was tired of all the people I know in real life crap, but I think I'm going to make a new one just to engage with phone losers. Yeah, it's a good idea. So you're going to stick it to Facebook by having two Facebooks instead of one. That'll show them. Hey, Brad. Laggy McStabby here. I hey. uh, love the Since I Dug calls you did the other day. I think you should, uh, when someone pushes a touch tone, just say, my Sensei ears just picked up, you hit the number nine. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I should. Bye. Bye. I don't have my DTMF decoder here where I'm at right now. But I'll try to remember to do that when I get back home. Hey, Brad, this is incredulous. Hey. I think I figured you out. Uh oh. You're not Brad using a voice changer to sound like Carol. I think you're Carol. And this whole time, you've been using a voice changer to sound like a guy, hence Brad. 
Dun, dun, dun. So, uh... That's what it is. I think we've caught your buddy. Crap! Or should I say, Carol. Yeah, you can call me, call me Sweet Tits or something, since you figured out that I'm a female. Me, Sagata. Hey. Now that you are not at your residence, I shall now go into your home and see what I can find. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm not too impressed what I'm seeing around here. There are lots of cacti, um, four local cans. Oh, look, kitty. Hello, kitty. How are you? Oh, a bad kitty. No. Get away from me, kitty. No. Bad kitty. Oh, Sounds just like my cat. Into the situation room. Oh, there's still no. Oh, look, more pictures of cats to hide. That's weird. Oh, look, situation room. Thought I locked that oh, door. Oh, paper on the desk. What does it say? Oh, corporate sabbatical agenda. Oh, it is in the computer. Let's have a log in. Oh, no. I took your arm. Um, so get out of here. Oh, what does this paper say? Oh, corporate sabbatical agenda. Oh, you want to be in Chicago this weekend? Oh. Yeah, you should visit. You need to visit the cat uh, Okay, bye, Incognito. Thanks for breaking into my house while I'm gone. I should have known you'd do this again. Don't call here again. Next time, I'm going to have the sheriff call you. Oh, shit. Got it, boy? Fuck. Brad, okay. don't fuck with me. I'll call, have him call you, and I'll go down to your business. I don't want that. Er, Please don't do business. Don't do that. So don't play, boy. I'm sorry. Don't play. I'll stop doing whatever I did. All right. That's the end of that one. Hey, Brad. It's Aaron. Hey. I'm like three months behind on your show. Sorry. I'm getting what caught he- up now. What the hell? Um, the reason for my call today is I was just thinking about how like seven years ago I got really fucking drunk and I called you, and I left a voicemail singing the Mildred Monday song. I remember that. And I think you actually played it on the phone show, um, yeah. but I never listened to it. And then years later, I tried to find it, but the, the episode wasn't online anymore. But yeah. I just wanted somewhere. to share that little trip down memory lane with you. Yeah. Have a blessed day. Bye. Those, those were the days, weren't they? Hey, Roy, it's Nassel Matt. Hey. Guess What? What? I'm going to tell you a place that you're probably going to have to blur out on nope. here, so get ready. Not going to do it. There's a Sears in the town of Salem, New Hampshire, Beep. and they are currently closing. So I think you should give them a call and tell them that all the employees are going to lose their jobs and that they're not going to be able to pay rent. Flip and all the switches. Go bankrupt and lose their house and... Yeah. You know, prostitutes. It'd be hilarious. Drugs, you know, all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah well, uh, you should probably call them and uh, make fun of them. All right. Love you. I'll, Bye. I'll do that. I mean, you know, you, you could have just gone to snowplowshow.com slash request and sent me the number and the idea. You know, I fucked but up. No. I think I said the wrong uh, town. Such a dummy. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, you idiot. But, uh, it- all right. Bye. Thanks for the voicemail. Hey, Brad. It's Danielle Serena. Hey, Danielle. Hope you're doing well. My yep. last name isn't Great. Serena, by the way. That's um, what you, you just said it was. you told me not to give out my last name and my oh. last voicemail. Oh. But okay. I just wanted to call because you're always talking about getting a call recorder for your Android phone and how you should try to find one. Yeah. Um, there's one on Google lazy. Play. If you just search call recorder for Android, um, it's being advertised, so it'll probably be at the top of the list. But it's called Call Recorder Automatic Call Recorder by Call Free Caller ID Call Recorder by Call Team. Wow, um, that doesn't sound scammy yeah, at all. Yeah, it works really well. I use it on my phone. The recording's really, really good. Okay. And just wanted to let you know. Have a good day. Bye. Thanks, Danielle. I think the main reason I haven't gotten that is because I have this sixty-dollar hobo phone, like a prepaid and a weird carrier. And everything is incredibly slow on it. I can't run anything. Ever since the FBI took my good phone, I've been using a crappy phone. I just haven't gotten around to getting a better one yet. Every month, I say I'm going to get a new phone. I never do. So really, that's the real reason I haven't found an Android recorder yet. I'll get around to that eventually. It looks like that was the last voicemail, so that's the end of today's show. Thanks, everybody, for leaving carding notes, for leaving voicemails for making intro songs for me, for spending hours driving to Chicago to hang out with us. I still can't believe how many people are showing up to that. And thanks for supporting the show. 
at patreon.com slash phone losers. Thanks to today's sponsors, Lion9, DeLorean Jackson, Mr. John, I see you, and Ira Garrett Jumping. I think that's how you pronounce it. Your support means a lot, and I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to try and edit this tonight so I can get it released tonight and then go to bed early so I can try and make it to Chicago in the morning. Be sure to keep an eye on the Phone Losers Twitter, twitter.com slash phone losers. I will try and tweet pictures and um, I don't know, any important information. I think Jag TV will probably do some live streaming from the bar. That'll be fun. So I'll try to remember to tweet a link to his stream if he does one. Oh yeah, also the Ding Timber number. If you want to leave a note on a car that says, sorry, I dinged your car, please give me a call. The phone number is 310-356-0801. That's the number you should leave on the note. And sign the note, Roy, not Big Dave. Damn it, the name is Roy. Bye, everyone. What does Browntown have to do with anything?